the four best words in all of sports. Pitchers and catchers report. It's a sign of a summer full of well-kept fields, delicious beer, and insufferable fan bases from coast to coast. What will America's pastime have in store for us this year? I'm still having trouble understanding why they would keep their white-hot closer in the bullpen for the cookie dispenser of Ubaldo fucking Jimenez. That was a fireable offense. But at least you've got Manny Machado, right? Don't waste his career, please. It is truly incredible. Chris Sale is finally on a real team. You're going to need him since David Price's elbow looks fucked. Maybe the panda can actually not be a gigantic tub of lard this year as well. A man can dream. They have finally realized that throwing millions of dollars at aging players in free agency is a total waste and have embraced building a prospect armada. Their youth looks pretty damn good so far and they could make some noise this season. 29 other teams are cringing at the insufferable fan base that will re-emerge. I had a prediction at the ready, but I lost it in Tropicana Field Skyline. I'll just be lazy and say that they're going to be wildly mediocre this season. That'll probably work. It's too bad you're in the AL East. I'd pay legitimate money to see you guys consistently make Texas into your bitch. Regardless, your core is getting older and you've already lost the invisible fist-bumping machine that is Edwin Encarnacion. If you're gonna win, you better do it now. The Yankees are coming back strong. If you were the Leafs, all of you would be dead by now. What's that sound I'm hearing? Ah, the glorious tank. Enjoy a year in the basement, White Sox fans. I'm still not forgiving you for choking in the World Series. You helped to unleash the hell that is Cubs fans on the world. I don't care if you got Edwin Encarnacion. You'll still end up winning that weak excuse for a division this year and break our hearts all over again. Fucking Cleveland. You were throwing money at everyone in free agency before the Dodgers made it cool. This team is the epitome of having a really solid squad, but always being a piece or two away from winning it all. That has to be the most frustrating thing, even more than Justin Verlander's inconsistency. Just like this year. Good, but not good enough. In a way, 2015 seems like a long time ago. You've still got the majority of that team, but it just feels different. Last year, it was as if everyone had a massive World Series hangover. This year is the true test. Was that just a fluke or a sign of a total shit show to come? They better hope it's the former because David Glass isn't exactly an ATM. This is the league's forgotten lol cow. The only things anyone thinks of with the twins are the late Carl Polat's legendary cheapness and Joe Maurer's albatross of a contract. You can throw all of the money at underachieving pitchers until the second coming, it still isn't going to get you anywhere. Pray to the gods that Byron Buxton actually develops. What the fuck happened to you guys? You were supposed to be the hottest team in baseball with a future brighter than greased up metal, yet you totally shat it when things counted. With superstars like Carlos Correa and the garden gnome Jose Altuve, anything is possible. But Jesus Christ, do something about that pitching depth. The only reason why this team is anywhere near watchable is Mike Trout. Everything else is pure garbage. Your farm system is barren, your pitching staff is bordering on dumpster fire, and most positions just look completely uninspired. Oh boy, Martin Maldonado at catcher said no one ever. If you're going to sneak into a wildcard spot, it's going to involve a lot of what-ifs, especially at pitcher. Don't let Mike Trout down again, guys. This is when we all realize that Billy Bean has lost his touch. Moneyball Man is running on Windows XP when everyone and their mother has upgraded to NASA software. They unfortunately aren't market inefficiencies anymore when everyone knows about them. Enjoy the basement and pretending you're still cutting edge. It's time for yet another year of wasting King Felix's career because this team can't develop anyone if their lives depended on it. Now it's a heavily upgraded rotation thanks to trades for Giovanni Gallardo and Drew Smiley, but I still have too many questions about the lineup, especially the outfield. Let's hope the infield can make up for it. We have a lol cow watch, folks. In addition to paper champion baseball, you also get the added bonus of the team trying to strong arm the Arlington area to build another goddamn stadium. Their current one is 20 years old. 
It gets hot in Texas in the summer? Surely you just... It's as traditional as the Rangers choking in the fall. This team is starting to sicken me. Not for their on-field dumpster fire, but for robbing Cobb County blind in order to replace their apparently obsolete 20-year-old stadium. Now they're moving to a northern suburb of Atlanta. Enjoy the glories of budget cuts and reductions for a stadium the taxpayers didn't even get to vote for. But you can tomahawk chop your way to a mediocre season and a wasted year of Freddie Freeman. Nice consolation. One of the great travesties in all of baseball is the fact that Jeffrey Loria has completely obliterated the sport in two separate markets. Even worse is the fact that he's going to make north of one billion dollars when he sells the team. People only gave a shit about the Marlins because of Jose Fernandez, and he's been taken from us way too soon. I feel bad for the people who buy this lemon of a franchise. It will be a long time before they regain the trust of the locals. Mets fans, you experienced the complete and utter bullshit of the wildcard game last year. Your pitching is still elite, but you still couldn't score on a goddamn prostitute. Sacrifice several fattened calves so Yoannis Cespedes doesn't get injured and keeps up his torrid pace. You are still paying for the sins of Ruin Tomorrow Jr., but there seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel for you. It's probably not going to be this year, though. Keep pushing. You're close. I know you're the Texas Rangers of the NL, but let's take a look at that huge off-season haul you promised your fans. Oh, you only got out of meeting? Ouch. You have two years before someone unloads a dump truck full of money on Bryce Harper's doorstep. The clock is ticking. We have gravitated towards the worst timeline. MLB, prepare for the endless onslaught of insufferability and arrogance that will make Red Sox nation look humble in comparison. Even worse, they've got at least five years of World Series contention left in them. Don't say the rest of the NL Central didn't warn you. The glorious tank rolls on in Cincinnati. Enjoy another year of shitty pitching and the wasted prime of Joey Votto. Who knew that going all in over five years ago would still have repercussions today? All signs point to another year of allowing your prospects to gestate. Unfortunately, you cannot play the Pirates at Miller Park for all 162 games. Don't let the mediocre record fool you. Last year was a total dumpster fire. Nearly everything that could go wrong did. Obviously, things need to be fixed. Oh, you didn't do much at all? And a Moody Kutch is still here. And moving his noodle arm to right field. And Jung Ho Gung is a hot mess. Oh boy. Ah, the Pittsburgh Steelers of baseball. A team where everyone can say they are on the brink of collapse, but then use voodoo magic to conjure outstanding baseball powers out of guys who were considered to be scrubs. Once again, I predict the same thing this year. Just try not to spy on other teams anymore. We have another lol cow watch. The league's greatest bastion of unwritten rules is now trying to strong arm their city for a new stadium. The current stadium is less than 20 years old. The team has no suitable options for a new location and nobody is showing up because they suck a bag of dicks and have no farm system. Sadly, you cannot clone Paul Goldschmidt and develop him into 12 pitchers. Have fun competing for the seller. If you're a hitter, going to this team is one of the best chances of furthering your career. If you're a pitcher, it is a punishment you wouldn't wish on your worst enemy. May the Rocky Mountain Air lead you to a mediocre season thanks to the aforementioned no man's land of pitching. You've spent hundreds of millions of dollars since the ownership change, yet you couldn't buy a World Series appearance if your lives depended on it. Who knew that throwing money around doesn't work if you're spending it at a 40% efficiency rate? You have at least 10 starting pitchers, yet six of them will probably be on IR by June. The demand for a winner will probably result in more money burning at the deadline. Good luck. Hey, you guys remember when the Padres won the offseason a few years ago? Those were some good times. You're reaping the rewards with shitloads of dead money and forced tanking. At this rate, AJ Preller is going down as one of the worst GMs in the current era. You're as dead as a power hitter at Petco Park. It's an odd year, so if my farmer's almanac is correct, the Giants will struggle this season thanks to a lack of timely hitting and underachieving pitching. Don't worry though, next year suggests you're going to go on another deep playoff run. That is, unless Mad Bum pulls you to a division title prematurely. That dude's a beast. 
With opening day soon to be upon us, it's time to see who will win the divisions this year. I'm probably going to be horrifically wrong as always, but I can see the AL divisions going to the Red Sox, Indians, and the Astros. For the NL, it's going to be the Nats, Cubs, and Dodgers. Yankees, Blue Jays, Mets, and Cardinals fans once again have to experience the bullshit of wildcard games. Play ball, motherfuckers. The throw is wide. 